I, this is the map here of uh, Balkans in 1998. You pretty much you get idea about also uh, what used to be known as the Greater Serbian Chetnik State, Yugoslavia, which was in fact this was a stolen name from Yugoslav Federation uh, from the several states such as. Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, uh, Montenegro, Macedonia, etc., etc., etc. It just happened so that at the end, uh, when the Serbia launched war against uh, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, uh, Kosovo, it just happened so that uh, Serbia was the last one who, which, keep the name. Yugoslavia had nothing in common with this name but this was the country that caused a bloodshed but at the end Serbia was the one who kept this name nobody else wanted to affiliate with his name anymore and Serbs used this to suggest that others are separatists that others are uh, this is basically after they commence extermination procedure against four different nationalities actively first against the Albanians on Kosovo second in Bosnia uh, just because people there were mixed uh, Muslims basically Croats uh, third Croatia Croats against Croats and uh, also against the Slovenians so one against everybody was guilty but this is the biggest uh, was the Serbia in Yugoslavia and they deemed that just like Russia in the Soviet Union that you know this is a form of colonialism formed the way to go and everybody is either compliant you're either compliant or the equal you with the Nazis that's it if you if you were not compliant with this you were automatically lined up as a separatist as a uh, intolerant is uh, uh, you know hateful toward others etc 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 that kind of stuff they were using this efficiently through United Nations to depict others as evil and themselves as good worst about all this stuff is that even today which is June 24 of 2024 uh, I am dealing still with the legacy of lies which Bill Clinton left behind his presidency. Uh, in this case here, it concerns the incident of, let's see this here, this is a B-2 bomber which hit Chinese embassy in 1999. Uh, and to me personally because I have gone through all this stuff ladies and gentlemen for me personally it's very very hard to deal with I am a few minutes ago when I saw this video I was traumatized why was it traumatized I was traumatized because I have seen it I have tasted on my own skin I know firsthand about what went on I will never forget that they wanted to whack me. They were in between literally getting me killed uh, and or did not know what to do with me because I have proven to be not on their side beyond any doubts. And the, you know, the one who wanted to whack me were Americans. This is more terrifying to me than anything else about this video. It was American diplomats from not only Bill Clinton, but it was American diplomats who served under um, Ronald Reagan. They served under advisors, you're talking about, under Ronald Reagan, under um, George Bush Sr. and other American presidents, old cats, that like Bill Kissinger, like extremely, Bill Kissinger, one of them, affiliated themselves mentally with Russians and with the Serbs to the degree that 
And how can I say, I immigrated to the U.S. in 1995, and everything I'm stating to you was a product of Central Intelligence Agency's CIA's overseas abductions, hijackings from Miami through MKUltra back to Europe, with my absolutely having nothing in common with the Serbs, other than they engaged in war against Slovenia, against Croatia, and others. And so they had me to witness this just so that I could witness literally Americans contemplating on getting rid of me. Uh, they were just as paranoid. Uh, actually, excuse me, they were more paranoid than Milosevic. There was no bigger paranoid in the Belgrade than Milosevic. Uh, and not entire American diplomacy, but if Russians or Serbs smelled some American diplomat that was that somehow caught their attention that they somehow that someone he was of their interest they would make sure they would get a hold of this diplomat and United States of America never held back uh, any they never refused any to any foreign country to my knowledge, um, the ability to retain that type of diplomat for their purposes, okay, and it did pay it off. If you were a country that were you were inf influential enough in some conflict, these countries had the ability to literally steal individual from. United States from his own environment and they would have people like this that would live in the Russia, in Belarus, in Serbia, uh, some even more permanently than in the US. Like they had some diplomats from out west talking about uh, states like uh, Idaho, that area was a guy that lived literally in the Belgrade and stuff like that. And uh, they had people that would live in the U.S. The thing is, the U.S. government would make this happen in a such a way that, like Kissinger spent time in Belarus and in Russia and in Serbia and stuff, like that that people that fucking know truth from reality actually from what mainstream media was depicting I mean some of these people spend more time in Eastern Europe than they did in in United States of America not many of them but they had diplomats like this and these diplomats blew on a soul of this American administration whichever they would be in a process and by use literally to negotiate uh, literally Serbs and Russians would use them to negotiate through with the US government during this type of crisis and stuff like this but it wasn't about crisis because they planned everything they contemplated everything together it worries me because of the war in Ukraine especially we are over two years in war in Ukraine firmly and the news that's coming out of Ukraine is rather scary uh, and my being witnessing this firsthand this type of stuff uh, it's not good for me let's just go um, for me this is stressful to watch because it's it's uh, it's I, I just uh, let's just go along this video and I'm gonna explain to you you will understand why for me this stuff is stressful to watch very very stressful to watch that it was a mistake and wrong coordinates were the reason but China claimed it was uh. on May 7th 1999 a b2 stealth bomber released five guided bombs on a military target in Belgrade which was actually the Chinese Embassy Within a few hours, the U.S. said it was a mistake, and wrong coordinates were the reason. But China claimed it wasn't. Now I'm going to tell you a story that will amaze you. Forty-two days before this, an F-117 Nighthawk was brought down by the Serbian air defenses. 
Its wreckage spread across Budanovci village's farm site, where Chinese MSS officers purchased some of the parts from locals. This is what the Croatian military's then chief of staff claimed. Some main fragments were even directly shared by Yugoslavia at China's request. Due to the ongoing airstrikes, the parts were kept in the embassy's basement, but GPS signals were spotted by the US military. The B-2 bomber was aimed at destroying the debris, so the secret technology remained secret. One JDAM bomb that even made it to the basement didn't detonate, and the parts remained untouched. On May 7, 1999... On May 7, 1999, uh, you, can, you, will you will understand now why this angers me so much. Okay? I am not into the stories. That's one thing. I am not into the stories. I don't give a three fuck about the stories. And the guy that talks about is talking lies here. He's talking lies. I'm going to give you the first hand. I'm going to explain to you exactly what happened. On top of it, he talks like he is certain about what he's talking about. Even if he knows nothing about what the fuck he's talking about. He's talking about like a lawyer on the court that he's absolutely certain about account he is giving out to the public. Like... You know, absolutely he is certain about. You know, like, don't even question me is basically what he's saying. May 7, 1999. A B-2 stealth bomber released five guided bombs on a military... You know, I feel like when in his voice, you know, like some kind of arrogance, you know, like, ah, 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 like he's full of knowledge, like facts. Okay, let's see what the facts really are. Because I was there. I was there. Now I'm going to give you the first hand about what really took place. I was there. First of all, NATO bombings went on from 24 March 99 to June 10, 1999. And if you pay attention to it, May the 7th, that means it was March, that's like six days. April and then it was May so you're talking about one month and a half into the one month and a half of bong bombing uh, of these strikes uh, we have an incident that delivers China on the brink of uh, well I mean this is the stuff I have spoken on the blog already I did explain to you that Chinese were preparing themselves together with Russians to with the Serbs they coordinated together uh, the way to clear the Yugoslav bombings uh, to stop basically this NATO campaign bombing campaign of Belgrade of the so-called Yugoslavia uh, and they were going to do this through a very very uh, specific way which for which I I explained to you uh, that preparations for this uh, NATO bombings ahead of the NATO bombings in China they would uh, start almost like one year ahead of NATO bombing in 1999 they started to prepare themselves for this NATO bombing in ch throughout the China and till they triggered like absolutely like uh, uh, like uh, protests throughout the China through the universities and stuff like this They're like like uh, allergic reaction to something that has absolutely nothing to do with reality I know so because I was in the China I know so because I observed the Chinese students preparing themselves with their patrons for this type of uh, coordinated action that's one thing you watch my blog, you read about my blog, you will see this stuff. I wrote about this stuff. So, you're talking about uh, May 7. Mm, this is about somewhere in the middle of this, right? Because then it's like you have, I don't know, you have maybe three weeks left and it's June, and then you have another 10 days. Uh, so, you have another 30 days about somewhere in the middle is when this campaign takes place, right? 
uh, all of a sudden you bomb the Chinese embassy why did you bomb the Chinese embassy etc etc uh, it was I think today or yesterday again I accented this issue uh, and I reiterated that uh, China wanted to play a major player in you know in affairs in, in world of affairs and Today I also broke down certain issues I was not allowed to break down earlier uh, on my blog. Yeah, if you go, China had a big plans for itself. China had a big, big, big plans for itself. I told you a little bit about myself, about the childhood, how this stuff started, where this stuff all went. China have quite imperial, imperialistic plans for itself, and they wanted to play a major player in the in the, in affairs in in world of uh, military war affairs power basically a power play uh, they won their space within the Russia within the Serbia within the Eastern Europe uh, in the world anywhere you know they wanted to be basically a partner of Russia and at the same time they wanted to be to partner of NATO they want to be partner of the boat they wanted to broker boat and they asked literally Americans for a little dirty favor the little dirty favor was bombardment of Chinese embassy in 1999 which would give China a prestigious status within the Russia and the Serbia and this is the type of status they earned through the protests they made like a major stuff and so on deal out of it and this stuff was done it was already other bombing that took place here when it comes to the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia they had other conflicts already it, would, it was to come before the war would end and if you go here the end of the war Serbia Serbia ends war 99 and you're gonna see that they say they signed in the June 9 1999 they signed the peace agreement do you understand me what I'm saying this war lasted for nine years we're not talking about months now, but we're talking about nine years. Serbs already got kicked on many locations. It was other bombing campaigns that took place. Uh, it's not properly explained about 1999 bombing. It was also other military actions that took place. And so, before it would all end, Chinese wanted to have their spot under the sun in the world of Serbian and Russian affairs concerning the Balkan war they wanted to have a strong influence on Balkans and they wanted to have this strong influence on Balkans through the Serbia just like they're doing today shit over there in Ukraine for the sake of Russia this is not like this this is a totally different power play something similar to that Today they, they try again to look neutral. Back then they also wanted to look neutral. Back then they were much, much more neutral than they are today. Today they are not neutral at all. Today China is directly involved in war concerning Ukraine. It's like you pick up the telephone call and on the other side you have Bill Clinton answer the phone call and you get the voice that is asking Bill Clinton for a little favor and the favor is asking to have embassy bombed is a Chinese from China president whatever based on agreement they would have this embassy bombed so they could start this protest what that means when I mentioned earlier that this preparation for this bombing in China already started a year earlier 
What I mean, what what that means is that they already have with Americans everything coordinated and prepared together. So that telephone call that I told you did not even get through because everything was coordinated. They had American diplomats all the time stationed in uh, in in a Belgrade. Uh, people that leave Americans, some Americans lived in Belgrade, and these are the Americans that would. Uh, on daily basis meet, interact with the Chetniks from Serbia, Milosevic, Karadzic, this type of people and would uh, uh, further coordinate it together uh, behind the curtain with the Russians, with the British, with the French, with the Germans about course of the war on the Balkans, yes. Uh, regretfully so I have to say that American diplomacy benefited Serbian uh, Serbia during the Balkan War more than any other country, I have to say this. Uh, regretfully, I have to say this. Uh, I have to accent this today. Well, um, what else I would stress you at this point that would be important about this stuff? Well, it's going to pay you off to see this video, to witness this video. This is going to pay you, if you are interested in what took place, this is going to pay you better than any other video you have seen so far in respect to this bombing of the Chinese embassy. On May 7, 1999, a B-2 stealth bomber released five guided bombs on a military target in Belgrade, which was actually the Chinese embassy. So I told you that Chinese Americans arranged the bombing and prior to the bombing uh, the main Chinese staff have relocated itself from the Chinese embassy into the near houses. Well, let's continue. Within a few hours the US said it was a mistake and wrong coordinates were the reason. But China claimed it wasn't. Now I'm going to tell you a story that will amaze you. 42 days before this an F-117 Nighthawk was brought down by the Serbian air defenses. Its wreckage spread across Budanovci village's farm site, where Chinese MSS officers purchased some of the parts from locals. This is what the Croatian military's then chief of staff claimed. Some main fragments were even directly shared by Yugoslavia at China's request. Just so that you understand, uh, I was in that village. I have seen these remnants, these parts, during MK Ultra. Uh, I met this uh, Croatian. Uh, isn't it fucked up that information travels from one side to another so so freely, so easily? I mean, isn't that like uh, alarm? Doesn't that sound alarming to you? Uh, to me, this is absolutely alarming. You are uh, portraying talking about Americans. You are portraying this like it's a, it's like a fruitcake. Do you even understand how schizophrenically you are portraying this shit? You are portraying this like there are no front lines. You are portraying this shit like there is like, you know, like the next day when this happened that you had several Serbs that stopped by in Zagreb and give the whole account. And or you are portraying this shit like you had Americans visiting you, uh, inspecting the parts and stuff like this, which actually was the case. Which actually was the case, I can tell you that this was the case. They did learn about it, they saw it, because I was there and I know so. So, but let's stop this stuff and let's continue with this stuff. The question here is when? Immediately they did not. Due to the ongoing airstrikes, the parts were kept in the embassy's basement, but GPS signals were spotted by the U.S. military. The B-2 bomber was aimed at destroying the debris, so the secret technology remained secret. One J so, it was inside of the basement, you know, whatever was left of the plane, it was inside of the Chinese basement. And it was, they pick up the GPS signal, and so they decided to bomb the embassy. That's what they say. The damn bomb that even made it to the basement didn't detonate, and the parts remained. What fucks me up the most is the way this guy talks. 
the way this guy talks is like the average person would not even dare to question this it's like a first-hand intelligence it's like a first-hand you know what it is it's a schizophrenia it's not even intelligence it's twisted out of line story crap bullshit bullcrap is what this is but it sounds like really sophisticated and with a great certainty uh, translated to the public which you know would only end up with an entertaining story for the rest of the day well my life was destroyed because of the stuff like this and untouched on May 7th I am gonna play you this stuff again and then I'm gonna break down the whole thing about what really happened 1999 a B-2 stealth bomber released five guided bombs on a military target in Belgrade, which was actually the Chinese embassy. Within a few hours, the U.S. said it was a mistake, and wrong coordinates were the reason. But China claimed it wasn't. Now I'm going to tell you a story that will amaze you. Forty-two days before this, an F-117 Nighthawk was brought down by the Serbian air defense. And what pisses me off, like, totally is that he says that he's going to tell you the story that will amaze you. I mean, you guys over there in the U.S. are all, you guys are not fucking normal. You're far, you're sick. You're sick. You're like, utterly sick. This is like a story for the good night. Are you telling the story here? Or you're actually talking about the stuff like this that is realistic, that's factual. This is what fucks me up in the last part of brain because now I'm going to tell you the story that will amaze you really and then you started with a certainty to lie people about whatever the fuck you want to tell the people for the good night its wreckage spread across Budanovci village's farm site where Chinese MSS officers purchased some of the parts from locals this is what the Croatian military's then chief of staff claimed some main fragments were even directly shared by Yugoslavia at China's request Due to the ongoing airstrikes, the parts were kept in the embassy's basement, but GPS signals were spotted by the U.S. military. The B-2 bomber was aimed at destroying the debris, so the secret technology remained secret. One JDAM bomb that even made it to the basement didn't detonate, and the parts remained untouched. On May 7, 1999... You know... United States of America is... from my perspective... And I wanted to become a law enforcement officer in the U.S. Amazing country with amazing people that I met. People in law enforcement that I can say I had nothing but respect. People from the ex-military, from the U.S. military, from whatever they served, branch, Marines, whatever they were, I can say nothing but respect. People who are there to the facts. People who are there to, uh, you know, certain conduct, professionalism, uh, that for me personally was a contagious thing. It's a, it's, United States of America is an amazing country because of amazing people. That much more digs me when you when you post the video concerning you know issues so big you know that's a big fucking issue you're talking about the big issue right there you're talking about something that actually shaped the war in Ukraine today it helped shape the war in Ukraine tremendously because it got enormous a lot of people in this world on the wrong side through particular incident and it's this type of incident that continues to shape certain imagery in in brain of people the reality the perception because you know i told you american diplomacy serbian diplomacy russian diplomacy were like this do you understand? When I say this is a big problem for overall picture, even for the Chinese, even for the Americans alone, it's a problem. Is I know that it's more profitable for these big powers for the rest of the world, you know, to keep them in uncertainty, in a cloud, in you know, illusion. 
but where is it taking this whole thing? I mean, the days of that type of profitability eventually are coming to an end. If for no reason, then watch the news I published today about the war in Ukraine for you to understand that we are actually engaging in direct war through Ukraine with China. So things did not get better. The truth is that in China no longer are manufacturing a cheap calculators or watches. Uh, they no longer manufacture American laptops. They no longer manufacture parts for American Patriot systems. They did, they did, and they still do. No, sir. They now manufacture their own laptops. They now manufacture their own defense missile systems. They now they manufacture their own technology. Things so, so much changed, you know? This isn't about any more, you know, cheap, you know, manufacturing in China, you know, uh, me having money, go to China, buy myself a factory, boom, boom, uh, name one Hewlett Packard, name one Dell, whatever, me bring back to the U.S. these products, sell them for a mucho dinero to American customer. This isn't about this anymore. no longer need it because you know China does it you know now it's only about me no actually having any more ability to compete with the Chinese in China because it's now me only left with a store in the US or somewhere in Europe and directly importing from whomever I get for a decent price in China because the quality of merchandise is so much improved and it's made in China is just as good as coming from, you know, uh, the brands such as Hewlett Packard or Dell or whatever. You may think it's a, it's actually a big step forward for China, and the U.S. doesn't have the West doesn't have a capacity manufacturing capacity construction abilities. Uh, engineering is developed when it comes to actual engineering as it is in China. The workforce is so much cheaper, so much more automated, so much uh, uh, developed that uh, the West lost control over this stuff. The world changed drastically. Uh, it changed so much that as well as mine um, I don't know because it's more competitive maybe China is going to score major contracts in Ukraine um, hopefully not from both sides for renovation um, of Ukraine about the incident in 1999 bombing of Chinese embassy I'm going to put it to you like this I'm going to give you, I'm going to go right there, I'm going to look at this map, the Belgrade, and I'm going to break you down the whole thing about what actually took place. Because for the buildings, well, what happened is, these politicians wanted to kill me in 1999. What scared the shit out of me more then even Milosevic and Karadzic and all these beautiful people, this top of this Serbian society, which wanted to exterminate other nations for the sake of the greater Serbia, what uh, fucked me up even more in 99, that actually four years after I was already in the U.S., is that it was Americans that wanted to whack me more than Serbs for the first time. 
boy, uh, the stuff I am talking about directly here is um, Serbs have had a big expectations that's for Nazoriti in Slovenian language is that's how they wanted to portray me this is from me big expectations where they got those expectations I don't know because I never affiliated myself with them quite contrary I supported Croats and after this bombing it snapped out of blue that it became for the first time evident to me and it was really scary that it was American diplomats that became all of a sudden uh, enthusiastic about getting me killed it was not pleasant at all in Belgrade, but more unpleasant than meeting these Chetniks, if anything possibly could be more unpleasant, was the fact that I endangered uh, missions of American, what you want to call this outlaws, you want to call them a prisoners, I call this a shit. These are not even people, in my opinion. Uh, spies, like I mentioned earlier, who negotiated the war under the Serbian and Russian terms on Balkans, the way they wanted the outcome of it. I did not agree with these people, absolutely in any way. And it was, it appeared like it, it fucking snapped them in a certain moment, they would be better off that I'm just dead and it's hard to when I think about it to determine whether it was Serbs or what is with Americans you know but it was Americans because even the, the two argued with this issue and the Karadzic really didn't like me um, Americans uh, were extremely, extremely, extremely disapproving of me. Uh, they just uh, panicked about it. They were not comfortable about it. Uh, they were losing sleep about it. And this incident about the bombing of the Chinese embassy, this shit was just... Uh, it seems like this was a job over the ocean. I mean yeah precisely let's go to this embassy in Belgrade for this matter I did go and found this address here from Wikipedia that you see right there it's posted down here it says Užica Street Belgrade uh, what is interesting is that if you go today and you take the map you're not going to see this under the embassy in Belgrade um, you're not going to see this what you will see is uh, it looks like this let me demonstrate you basically Google Maps and you go like this Uh, Chinese Embassy Bel Belgrade you're gonna get the map of the Belgrade and it's gonna look like this uh, this actually sucks because this is actually the embassy but yeah this is the embassy this is a real this is location of the embassy and uh, yeah this is a real embassy you know okay I didn't get this point good I gotta do it like this so the first thing 
but I'm going to end that later on. You know, if you zoom yourself out, then it looks like this. And uh, uh, I was heavily interrogated by the, especially by the Bill Clinton, as per what the fuck I recall. They wanted to know exactly what I recalled about this incident. And I told you that they had the houses, Chinese had the houses, and uh, you know, the, it's called Uzhichka, right here, you know, they had a, they have hidden themselves in the houses, you know, Chinese main staff before the bombing. Uh, and after the bombing went past, is what they did, whatever they did, yeah together with American, with Russians, Chinese coordinated what to tell to the public, how to depict the reality. This is what you eat, people eat today. This is what your reality is like. This is what your reality is. And if you question one, you're mentally ill, whatever they do, or maybe they kill you or whatever. And this is this embassy the China here that you see here and if you go to the street here you know and uh, they argued with me during MK Ultra, you know uh, that this is a uh, embassy this is a Chinese embassy and uh, you know right there that you see it you know right this is what it is do you remember this and that not much not much, I don't remember much. I'll be honest with you. This is what I told them during the MK Ultra. I told them I don't remember much. I don't remember this here much at all. Do you know what this is? Why the fuck would I? I'm asking Bill Clinton right now. Come on, genius. You're so fucking smart. Huh? I mean, here when I look at your picture about your profile, because you're too personal too. You sound like already with that picture about you, like. Bill Clinton, just when you you have the profile, I mean, it's like, <laughs> like, you know, you sound also like you know everything, like you're smart and you have the answers and this and that, like you're like smart guy, smart ass, I would say. You know, why the fuck would I remember this here? Do you guys promenade me through here? You would not promenade me through here. You did. But it was not very often wherever you put me a silicon mask. This place here, mostly, I rarely that I was that they got me through here. This is the place where they would, you know, either Milosevic or it would be Karadzic, it would be Mladic, it would be like a top Serbian leaders they had, top Serbian Chetniks. They would rush me with the cars through here. They would rush with American diplomats uh, inside of the cars, you know. It would just go through the gate. It would just go through the gate and forget it. Nobody knew who came and this and that. Do you think that, that uh, when they deliver me to the Chinese embassy, what the fuck you think? That it was like a ice cream truck that traveled with the music here and it was like Bobby's coming to you for a visit. Hello, it's Bobby. It, it wasn't like this really. You know? I remember here that I would get out maybe on the street very randomly and it would be in this direction here that, that I would go and it would be like quickly and randomly if I would get maybe in the evening hour something like this it would be this street by the way here this is a street prohibited for the Serbian people first you have to understand the fucking street we are in this is called Užička and Užička is a street according to the Serbian leadership that is a bad street nobody likes the Užička in Serbia in Belgrade people hate Užička they hate because of this here. What the fuck do you see here when you look at it? What you see here are villas. You see like exclusive properties. You see this here? It's only fucking exclusive properties. It's villas. It's a properties. Do you know Yugoslavia, Greater Serbia? 
this is was uh, uh, what they refer to as a socialist country and you guys go to the church let's say that you go to the church and what they teach you in the church thou shall not lie thou shall not steal thou shall not parents and thou shall not uh, you know pray ten times a day Da shall not say this, da shall not, he shall not, he shall not. Well, you are in the street, you shall not look at the house like this, because in a socialism, in a communism, is thou shall not look at the world, he shall only drive Fitchko, Zastava 750, da shall only drive uh, Stoyadin, uh, I don't know, Fiat 1300 or 1100, thou shall only drive Lada, thou shall not look good looking woman, thou shall not, uh, we are in a street like this, this here, this here, this is already, this is how they explain to me, thou shall not, this is where it starts for you this year. This year, this area where you can watch. I'm repeating to you Karadzic right now. Psychiatrist Karadzic. The one who ended inside of the ark. This is for you. You can see this here. Okay? You know, that shall not, that shall not, that shall not. It shall not. It shall not. It shall not. Like this, this is the way it was. Uzhichka for you is out of question. So first, I had to declare to you what was it under MK Ultra to go through the Uzhichka. Uzhichka is full of the embassies and stuff. It's a prestigious street. This is not your classic Serbian street. This is a street that is, uh, you know, street with the prestigious properties like this, embassies, you know. Uh, you get the drill you get the drill you get the drill you understand me what I'm trying to say so the first thing we you know they ask me about do you remember this and do you remember this I do and I do not I am not going to remember the way you want me to remember fuck you I will not remember the way you want me to remember and I don't want to remember the way you remember at all, the way you brainwash, the way you lied about the stuff. You lied. You lied. Most of it was a lie. Because you can tell the person about something, but if you, if you try to modify, you know, the truth, the way it was, even for a little bit, then it can come up, you know, with all kinds of uh, stories. It can end up with all kinds of issues that is has little and even nothing to do with the reality then it comes that the whole thing ends up with the stories amazing stories as this guy says this is about this Uzhichka so they questioned me where do you see the house where do you see the house there is no house you know no house like this for you nema of the nema nishtai nothing like this like you described nothing like you described they were asking me you know gde kucha where house like this nema kucha of the vidish only house like this not the house you describe you know the house you describe the stuff you talk to us about this not true not true oh not true huh okay let's see what the true is Uzhichka is not the only street in Belgrade this here is a Uzhichka I need to get out this fucking map or at least close this so it makes me sense so I don't know how you close this shit okay no here finally and so this here is from a bow the way it look and you can see this here this Uzhichka you can see this is the street that goes Uzhichka or this this it goes like this tick 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 like this and then here this is the embassy of China and it 
Yeah, it goes along the Užička. This is, I told you, Užička is a prohibited street and it continues to go like this. But I'm not interested in Užička. I'm not interested in Užička. This here is the Chinese property here. Or this here is a Chinese embassy. This embassy, this Chinese embassy is so fucking big that you had a Chinese staff people uh, walking, you know, ex doing exercise inside. They would go and they would walk around here, you know, back and forth. Uh, it's a fenced property. Uh, as a matter of fact, I should even know about uh, <coughs> certain piece of the property they also got and that kind of stuff. The whole history about this Chinese property I have stored in my head. I just have to go through that stuff which I'm, it doesn't have, it's irrelevant right now with this. So what happened with this Chinese Chinese uh, embassy? Yeah. What happened, you cannot see from the street anything. Yeah, if you go here, you're not going to see. You click here, the streets is going to throw you to the Uzhichka. Now, what is this here? Nishta, this is the front view, the one I demonstrated to you. This is Zaycharska, but doesn't matter. We go to the back of the property here. To the back of the property. See, we go past this golf, whatever they have, this... Uh, badminton, tennis, whatever the fuck that is. One thing I have to tell you, the whole thing is fenced and it's big. It's really big property. This is a big beautiful property. It's a fence, you know, luxurious property with a fence, with everything, with the Chinese girls that do the tracks, walk around, walk around, walk around, keep skinny, keep they keep in a shape, you know, and uh, frequently, you see this here, what it says here, Kappa Star Group Yafa Cervenka. This is, here is a gate where the Chinese girls always would take me through to the other side, to the other side where the grass was greener the security guards inside here inside of this Chinese uh, complex uh, dressed in blue Chinese personnel security personnel they have they do the rounds uh, they always had like permanently I had a feeling uh, Chinese uh, security guards checking embassy guards walking around doing the patrols and they have a cameras and they would meet me also outside with these girls and these girls the Chinese girls the the, the employees of the Chinese embassy they would just take me you know there was gates here and they would open the gate and we would go right here through the Kappa Star Group Yafa Tsarvanka right through this uh, we would end up on the other side and there you go we are now on the other side, it's called Boulevard Kneza Alexandra Karadjordjevica. And you see, oh fuck, that's a completely different landscape, isn't it? Huh? All of a sudden we are in a completely different world, this is no more Užička. For one thing, this is no more Užička. Now this place here, this is also a luxurious place. By the way, all these houses were involved in it. This is where I would walk with the Slovenian police back and forth. They were desperate to get these people involved in it. They were desperate to make up somehow between me and between the Serbs. Not because it was just... This shit was so wrong without having absolutely no right to do something like this that is from my point of view from my perspective when I think about it this is fucking unimaginable lunacy this is crime unimaginable and I'm not about to lose the case my boy I lost 52 years of life to this uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is is basically lose my life to lie that's what MK Ultra was and it was a violent, violent lie. You see this house here? I think this is the house um, where the police claimed me that never ever anybody lived in this house. 
uh, but this is you know I don't agree with it I remember that there were people here and uh, the, when I say the people here in this house uh, it's from the other side from this side that uh, uh, I think uh, when I think about this was like a copy you know some kind of copy or something like that that they had like uh, uh, you know for uh, either for employees or something like this I had the feeling uh, that it was like I don't even know military or police something in that sense I don't know what the fuck this was about here about this place here but uh, this you would go behind and you would have whatever you would have yeah uh, this uh, people original people I think if they were original people they moved out of this place uh, sometimes um, very 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 long time ago I would say if there was a family there it, this would go all the way to sometimes like 1997 87 excuse me something like this 87 88 I would still I think recall maybe uh, like there was a family in there then I don't know what happened something like this it goes and then you have you know this homes here this this people always were involved in it this was regular Belgrade people here that were involved in this stuff that's a different story but this is here one thing but something that is of a bigger interest to me is this here yeah you see this here this here this Prashuma you see in the middle of the Belgrade you see this here what do you see jungle this is of the biggest interest to me is this here this stuff here you know who was hiding inside in here sometimes Milosevic sometimes Karadzic the big kahunas from Serbian parliament were hiding sometimes here now I am a little bit comical because I like funny stuff amazing stuff uh, I can give you a real account uh, this is what the real account is uh, and why not to be also a little bit funny we don't have to have everything so serious uh, right here where you have this complex here uh, Tsirvenka Yafa where is it is where the Chinese girls like I told you they would take me right across that property to what I refer to as the other side uh, what the fuck is this now uh, oh, Kara Georgievich uh, is right here so this here this is how big this pro this is quite really big this property yeah they told me something is exactly the same size property like the one on our parcel or something like that which is really not if you would take also with probably toward the river maybe or something this is actually really bigger property much bigger property it is I think and here I'm gonna go here inside of this forest here I did it was like this that it would be the politicians I mentioned to you they I met them here inside during the lunch hours during the breaks if they would be in the area they would meet here what else they were doing inside in there anything is possible maybe one time I can tell you uh, it was a Chinese girl that told me that she wanted to fuck with me inside of this forest this is true a little bit fun uh, a little bit for the fun and everything doesn't have to be serious and you know Goscha in Slovenian it's like uh, it's not exactly impenetrable 
woody area but it's 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 not not the how can i say uh this forest inside it's bushy it's like this you know and uh, i i just uh, i i didn't know what the fuck to say about all this stuff i didn't feel good about belgrade going to the belgrade and I decided, in fact, that I would not uh, want to have with her. I don't know what happened. Was it probably the girl that was not a girl of my dreams? You know, I had my taste. And um, I wasn't sure about what the fuck went on anyways, you know, about this stuff. I wasn't good about this stuff. This is the place where you would have also not only Milosevic that would meet me here, uh, they also would have the Slovenian side from Milan Kuchan, Robert Golot, Bort Pahor. Why would they do this stuff like this? Well, in 2012 they labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic. I think this explains everything. So, why would they do this stuff like this? No further explanation is necessary. The so-called ex-communists that would continue to come back to Belgrade from Slovenia and probably other parts of Yugoslavia to report even about what the fuck goes on upon the breakup from the Yugoslavia something that I was more acquainted than anybody since my childhood I told you about how during the Josip Brostito that I would travel with these people all the time on a weekly basis to Belgrade since my early childhood they would go and they would report they would give the reports, always submit. Belgrade was like a main city of Yugoslavia, Yugoslav Federation, administration, administrative city. So these motherfuckers, they would continue to play with me now inside of the forest and this and that and do really some, I'm not going to say indecent stuff, but I didn't feel like fucking Chinese girls around these guys. Beside that, I wanted to fuck uh, Chinese girls in Belgrade city already, and I created a tremendous incident. Uh, believe it or not, uh, the Milosevic personally rushed from from the Belgrade parliament to the Chinese embassy to scream over there that he was he, com he completely lost it when they learned that I was interested in uh, Chinese uh, girls they fucking lost it and nothing ever happened nothing ever happened these Chinese girls they made me flirt with them and this and that and they changed and nothing ever happened and when I really wanted they disappeared they even not that they would make them disappear but I would they wouldn't make me see them anymore you know uh, why would it be now that I would have to do this you know uh, so they answered to me well you know we would really allow you to fuck her because and I said yeah I said really I said why would you allow me to do something like this in the forest and when I wanted to do this you did not allow me to come anywhere even near this girls and they told me because it's a it's a it's 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 a forest they told me and I was like what uh, yeah exactly because it's a uh, it's this uh, like a little jungle in the middle of the belgrade that's why we would allow you to do this in the forest so you can say these people are strange or they are not strange this is what mk ultra was people during mk ultra did all kinds of stuff stop the story here let's continue with the bombing of 1999 i just wanted to relax you a little bit maybe i was a little bit too tense at the beginning of this video and uh, that's also not completely okay uh, the pass through this here through this uh, Cervenka Jaffa that I demonstrated you it was not only one uh, it was more than one it, it depended on how the girl felt if the girl felt like uh, this here I think it was a pass right here this was one pass that we would get through here and um, 
Then there was another pass that we would go a little bit and then we would cut through. And it was through here. Yeah, and one was through here and another one was right on the other side, right through here somehow. Yeah, you can see that it's more scarcely, uh, you know. And, uh, you know, when I go to the next street from Karadjordjevica, right? This is a Karadjordjevica here, street. When I go to the next one, this is when it gets really, really dangerous for the people who claim that there is no such a place to me. They claim, no, the place that you describe, there is no place like this. It is. This one is called the Shakespeare, like William Shakespeare. Now, this is the street that the girls would take me from Chinese embassy. This is, well, in this street, this is the houses the Chinese also had. So, now, I don't think there is anybody anymore that can doubt about what actually, who is telling the truth about what took place in 99, whether I was the one or was it that they found the GPS signal from the Chinese embassy basement. We're going to get to that issue too. GPS from Chinese embassy basement. From the basement, the GPS, you know. From the basement. Um, we go. Let me see this here. We got to make sure about where the hell is this. Uh, anyway, this is. Uh, Okay, Boulevard Knez Alexandra. Uh, sorry that I get I get uh, Kappa Star Group Yafa. Okay, so here this is where I would get through, right? So we have the Chemba, uh, uh, embassy. Uh, yeah, we have a Chinese embassy. Then we have a Kappa Star Group Yafa Tsarvenka, like uh, Yafa uh, city in Israel, something like that. Uh, and we get through and a little bit through and we are on the other side it's called Shakespeareova you see here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut right through like this boom and we're gonna go to the street that's called Shakespeareova right across here just like I would do most often with the with the Chinese girl one moment here uh, I like this jungle I like this jungle Uh, and uh, yeah it was all kinds of stuff about this jungle if I tell you some guys they were telling me some Slovenian guy was they were uh, telling me they were making fun of me Skolch uh, Golobich, Gregor Golobich, and, and so forth. They were making, laughing at me that I did not use the opportunity with the border of Pahor that they will never forgive me for the, for this little jungle that I did not take advantage. The little jungle, this little jungle that you see here, uh, this jungle here. Let me take this here one more time the jungle um, the jungle you know they did not fucking know anything about the jungle they did not know anything about this jungle here I know about the fucking jungle they were asking me do you remember you know they thought like you don't know nothing where the fuck you are and this and that you know you know I was here in this place here this Belgrade this here when I was a child when I was a child earlier, you know, in what was it, 1985, do you think the trees were like you see here? No, they were not. These trees were scarce. This was all bushy. It was like fucking bush. This place here that uh, they saw this like, it's, you know, like, wow. It was not like this. <laughs> I'm coming from really different world here. For me, based on my memory, 
the way I remember this stuff, this was nothing really so special. You know, I, w I, I had the whole Belgrade, the map of the whole Belgrade since my childhood. And it was nothing really so, you know, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I didn't feel, you know, you know, they told me, we, we resent you, they didn't, uh, that you didn't, and this and that, and so on, but, you know, whatever it was, it was, it, you know, it is just something that, you know, it made, it made sense for whatever reason, anyhow. We go to this street Shakespeare over here. Here you can see it's very, very residential. And we're not going to go anywhere here. Uh, we are just going to go right here to this home. And uh, we're going to go one more home like this. And maybe we're going to go even back here. Let me see this here. And I am actually not even sure. But it could be exactly this house that belonged to the the Chinese. This is a small house is right here and they had whatever the fuck they have going on here. This were just right in front of the Chinese embassy and this Yafa Tservanka which was on the other side like this and I don't know what the fuck it is. They have some kind of a maybe tax authority. I have no idea what it is but they would guide me here to this houses here no i would have to actually look what else is here in this houses here i did not pay attention to because i wanted to video record this as quickly as possible i said to myself my god i was so upset i'm going to even go and look who are the advisors and stuff like this and see um what was it this here this was frequent also all these houses here they would deliver me so the Chinese were in a very, very good relations with these locations here. Uh, what is this here? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, when it comes to the houses, shit, maybe I'm going to go and I'm going to, uh, it could be maybe that, uh, maybe they rented this house, maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, it was not only one house yeah they this house here I think they rented this house during the bombing something like this it was a fine house it was a good house and it was this Chinese ambassador he said okay this house yeah and just like this so I think that during the bombing probably this might have been actually even the house where top Chinese staff was inside Hold on a moment. I'm gonna see this here. Yeah? Do you understand me what the fuck I said? What exactly was also here? Uh, if you go down this street, this is very, very important street. This is where you have a Chinese all the time uh, interacting through here, back and forth. This street here, Shakespeareova. Residential housing. So I already, I think, demonstrated you the house uh, where they were during the bombing, most likely. This was the house that was also in the use, whatever the hell this is. Uh, but it was not only by the Chinese, it was also by other people. Uh, but I think this also was from Chinese. This here also was something like this. This Shakespeare of this was like a strong, super, super strong Chinese pr uh, presence. And I personally wanted to have for myself this house here. I like they told me to pick up the house for myself. And so I wanted this house here. I like this here. And the Serbs told me, Bogami imaš dobar okus. <laughs> they, they told me, like, you, nothing, nothing, but you always find in the street the best. Uh, because they were there, yeah, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. And then I found the house, and then it was, Bogami imaš dobar okus. Uh, you always find something that was, uh, that was, uh, 
that was worthy of seeing something. Okay, so these were the houses that played the major role. I understand they have a capacity to rent wherever they want. So this is where the Chinese staff was hiding during the bombing of 19 on the May on the May 7, 1999. Yeah, and they had this housing projects already before that. They always, the Chinese always had entire two houses always to themselves. Yeah, in this street. This was the main street here for them, for the Chinese. This here, Shakespeareva. So, don't fucking tell me that I don't know my business. Now, uh, you ask yourself what exactly happened with the. Uh, uh, what exactly happened during the uh, yeah if I would go over this stuff a little bit more and uh, I could be very dangerous I could start to identify people and and you know stuff like that if I would pay attention to this stuff which is not so crucial for me right now especially because I'm doing this video this is already proofs enough that you understand that I talk about the facts I'm not making shit up for one thing these are not stories these are facts huh. I'm thinking about more and more and more about this house here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna come back to this stuff here. But anyways, uh, if you if you if you question what exactly happened with the with the plane which they shot down, a B-2 this stealth bomber here? released five guided bombs on a military target in Belgrade, which was actually the Chinese embassy. Yeah. Within a few hours. Now you know the truth about the Chinese embassy bombing, for one thing. Hours the U.S. said it was a mistake. Um, they brainwashed me. They started to brainwash me. Uh, it, it was like... Like... All of a sudden it was like a allergic reaction. It's like Americans started to like... He doesn't like us. He doesn't. He's going to fuck us, you know? Uh, in that sense, you know, it was like, I felt like almost like in a fucking soprano movie or something like this, which I watched many, many, many years after it came out. It, it was like, what the fuck do we do with this guy? I mean, in that sense. Hey, this shit was so awkward. So, I mean, you're talking about real mafia here. You are talking about people who make you disappear. This isn't funny. I mean, this is people that can fucking kill you on a broad daylight in the middle of the city no, for nobody to see what actually happened. Not cool. Not a cool stuff. If you wonder what exactly happened with this plane that was shut down. And wrong coordinates were the reason. The but plane the plane that was shut down. China claimed it, it wasn't. Now I'm going to tell you a story that will amaze you. Yeah. 42 days before this, an F-117 night... What happened with uh, Nighthawk? You know, what happened when they shut him down, you know? We were in this village. They took me to this village as soon as they shut one down, but it was not as soon. I estimate that I... that they deliver me to this village? Probably I estimate about one week after they shut one down. And they had, you know, I estimated everything, you know, I procalculated in MK Ultra how long, you know, what the period was and this and that. And so I heard from conversation from the police officers and when they interacted with the Serbs and stuff like this and this and that. So I estimated probably with, with like a week they delivered me to this location. You know, I would say I reduced this to about maybe three days, maybe something like that, you know. And uh, within a week, it was, I think, within a week, I would estimate, you know. 
between seven days to about ten days after they shut down this plane uh, they also had American politician uh, that also would come to visit I have to see these American politicians yet like I said some of these people were I I was left speechless and others are good uh, it all depended basically I mean you know <laughs> I I had no I didn't profit not from good not from bad but they did there was American politician they have used they also have demonstrated one uh, the remnants of the plane uh, and Americans have seen it with their own eyes you know I don't know how much uh, you know they they probably were aware of it they have ability to trace you know to do stuff you know this much about this American hawk that was shut down uh, this the, this was uh, not you know what else I can tell you about something that makes sense something that is interesting about this important stuff that I wanted to stress to you earlier that's why I decided I'm gonna video record this stuff so that you get to hear first account the really what happened they started to hastily brainwash me about they didn't know what the fuck to do afterwards after this bombing uh, which was actually just as I described they traumatized me with idea that I they tortured me so long that they wanted to get from me authorization for the bombing of the embassy which they suggested for the girl that flirted with me that I first with her was going to be inside and so on now, such a bestial torture that I actually gave them authorization and they wanted me to acknowledge that I acknowledge that this girl was inside so this was a trauma blame shame blame shame blame shame trauma blame shame system uh, I told you this already on my blog how the hell that went so don't fucking say to me that this was not the operation completely coordinated between the Chinese, Americans, Russians and Serbs because it was um, GPS signal GPS signal this is like kukulele uh, in your fucking dreams the GPS signal theory was something that surfaced after the, it looked like they're gonna whack me already uh, Bill Clinton started to brainwash me that I have to he demanded from me like fucking to acknowledge him that this is the way it is you know what I mean and this is it it's a GPS signal this is how we knew he didn't want to know nothing about anymore about agreement between the Chinese between the Russian Serbs and Americans NATO he didn't want to have any kind of trace of that shit that's what scares me about Ukraine today especially they didn't want to have nothing 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 about they don't want to hear nothing about that story it's a GPS you understand it's a GPS it's a GPS it's a GPS nothing other GPS if you're gonna say this we're gonna do whatever we're gonna do to you and this and that so I told him I told him in the GPS in the basement and then you woke up right if it was in the ba basement and then you woke up from your dreams I told him during MK Ultra and he started to laugh yeah that's right that's the way it is he realized that I am not so stupid under MK Ultra that I would not know what the fuck the GPS is and you talk about to me about the fucking basement and now you're talking to me about the fucking GPS that you get the signal from the GPS from the basement really I said how many of you the fuck you do uh, walk with the GPS in the basements that you search you operate 
your GPS systems from the basements. And he was laughing like crazy and he said, uh, yeah, that's true. Let's go and inspect the building, you know? And they fucking drove to the back grade and start to investigate how the fuck would that be? And they realized that shit cannot actually even be. It put the whole fucking thing in doubt and they started to do something to the building that would actually, if it would be investigated, that it would prove that, uh, like additionally to the building, they started to do something that that would be actually possible. And they started to do this shit again together with the Serbs. So what the fuck, I mean, how do you think I feel about the story like this when you tell me about this GPS from the basement and, you know, still, I told them, I told them, you know, you still, you're going to fuck yourself even like this, you're not going to be able to prove your lie. And they told me, and they told me how, you know, this is the worst part I did during MKO, I tried argued with them. This is such a stupid thing to do. I told them, yeah, and... You tell me, I tell you, you tell me what kind of building is this? What kind of building is this that you were able to do something to the building that will have as a result GPS signal penetrate through through all this from the basement, through all this, uh, you know, uh, how the fuck can I say, floors, uh, obviously, if it's not in the space, uh, you're using your, um, you know, planes or whatever, so it's going to pick up the fucking signal from them. You tell me, what the fuck have you done to the building? And I said, what do you mean by this? I said, well, you know, because every building, every architectural plan, I was also stupid under MK Ultra. I was, uh, you know, I, I, I understood about this stuff. I told you, every building has certain specifications is made of, you know. And more or less, these buildings are all made by according to the certain plans, uh, certain architecture, uh, containing certain elements inside. Uh, I told him, uh, uh, you, do you have another building like this that you have matched, that you compare to this stuff, so that if it's going to be like percentage-wise, the possibility, are you going to be actually able, capable to prove that something like this is actually possible? Uh, you know, I told him, uh, probably these other buildings, even if you did something to this building, are you going to be capable to actually prove this stuff where well, they did something to the building? Uh, they had top Chetniks that became completely nervous about this issue and they went over and then they started to investigate and so on and uh, I don't know what they did uh, they talked about something about uh, painting something with something and they talked about I don't know some kind of a crack or something like this or whatever uh, they did whatever yeah, I kind of remember this stuff even inside this basement, wherever the fuck they fuck with me. Uh, but I guarantee you that this is stuff that they're lying about. They lied about this stuff, about the GPS. They lied about these things uh, to cover up for what I tell you was actually a really, really bad story. The story that I talked to you about tonight. The truth is what I told you is no true in this story here about you can feel me now why I'm so angry about this you know now listen to this guy and think about what I told you and with what certainty he is telling you know how he is saying this he's talking like a lawyer on the court you know proving his true like you know with such a certainty, and this is the way it was, and this is the way it was, you know, Hawk was brought makes down my head go up, you know. Its wreckage spread across Budenovci village's farm site, where Chinese MSS officers purchased some of the parts from locals. This is what the Croatian military's then chief of staff claimed. Some main fragments were even directly shared by Yugoslavia at China's request. Due to the ongoing airstrikes, the parts were kept in the embassy's basement but GPS signals were spotted by the U.S. military. 
The B-2 bomber was aimed at destroying the debris, so the secret technology remained secret. One JDAM bomb that even made it to the basement didn't detonate, and the parts remained untouched. On May 7th, 1999... Well... You love the story? Uh, the parts remained untouched even because the bomb that had fallen all the way to the basement did not explode. So, you gotta fucking love this story, man. Uh, how convincing that is, huh? So, you, you blow the fucking building and now you have the bomb that had fallen through all the floors and this bomb lands actually where these parts are, down in a basement, but it doesn't explode. So, you know what I can do? Almost, I could go fuck myself. Uh, I'm sure that you guys have documented everything with, with the pictures, you took the fucking photos, uh, even of the bomb that you have delivered with a truck, position one in there, and then went ahead with the cameras and take photos and documented absolutely everything so that it would look as realistic as much as possible. So, um, my word against your photos, against your stuff, uh, but one thing I'm going to say to you. Do you know how many coincidences and what a strange coincidences you have involved yourself in? I mean, not only my pointing you out the stuff, but, I mean, which is very evident but even the bomb that have fallen through this floors all the way to the basement did not explode somebody just didn't like you you know uh, they told me that God doesn't hate anybody uh, that I have to remember this God does not but you know God in this case he did fuck you I have to tell you that he fucked you he did fuck you because not even the bomb that you claim that have fallen it's it's delivered it was delivered with a special I told you they delivered one nicely everything convenient uh, exploded even even now and did not explode it and I happened to remember the fucking basement I happen to remember the fucking basement. If I would go today to the CIA or FBI or a police and I would make a sketch of the fucking basement where this actually took place. So, you know, so many coincidences, you know, you, so many coincidences from GPS going to the bomb going down or all this and all the coincidence. It, you created like a chain of coincidences and who the fuck am I? I am no coincidence. I am like, you know, like we say in Slovenia, Kurac from Palermo. I'm a nobody, right? It's, you know, your, your, your coincidences, your, you know, it's called chain of facts. And in, the, in your case, it's a lot of lies that, that created a chain, chain of lies. It had up to a big fucking lie. Thanks for watching this video. Now you understand exactly what happened on in 1999. William Shakespeare.